Okay, every time I try to do this video, something goes wrong for no apparent reason. I've probably had to do this video about 20 times. Let's try it again for the 21st time. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get the MOGA. I, basically, the MOGA controller is going to act as an NVIDIA Shield controller, so you will have better compatibility, the back triggers will work with everything that works with the NVIDIA Shield. So, you're going to want to go download the Tincore Key Mapper in the Play Store. Once you download the Tincore Key Mapper, you, you need root access for this by the way, you shall open the Tincore Key Mapper. Once you do that, you're going to want to go hit settings, you're going to go to gamepad. You're going to want to select mode S for these top two areas here. And then it's going to prompt you to restart the uh, uh, mapper. Once you restart the mapper, you're going to want to open up your application um, that you want. You know, that's not functioning right with the MOGA because the MOGA is overpriced garbage. And then you're going to want to go, so here for, this is RetroArch. Uh, for RetroArch, I'm going to go and hit Tincore Key Mapper, open it up. I already have a profile, I'm going to delete it. Um, so we're going to delete the profile and just redo it for you. Um, hit that thing that I just hit, the thing that says new little Dropbox, the new gamepad thing. You're going to hit pre-gamepad. And then once you hit pre-gamepad, you hit check, hit accept. And then once you do that, you can um, go to, well first, we're going to go Load content history. I'm just going to open up Streets of Rage, and then that should see. There it is. Now it sees my. I just pressed the button on the MOGA, and it thinks I have an NVIDIA Shield. So it mapped out all the buttons to work as an NVIDIA Shield. So that should work also with OnLive. Uh, I did have, however, have some issues with. Um, did have some issues with, uh, what is it, with, uh, with OnLive with the uh, home front. Home front was having issues with the triggers where I had, just couldn't get it to, the triggers worked, but you had to pound the shit out of the triggers to get them to shoot and stuff, it was very weird. But uh, most of the stuff really worked fine, it's just for some reason it didn't like the triggers. So yeah, and it would burst fire for no reason. So it wasn't the best, but uh, that game apparently has too much input lag to be playable anyway. So whatever. I used it with Grid. It worked fine. Uh, grid worked great. Um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, you can get the back triggers working. I'm gonna show you um, on live working. Uh, get out of here, and I'll show you me using OnLive with this because OnLive had issues with the triggers and such. So now I have this. I already have a profile created for that. It's the same thing. It's the same thing every time. Uh, I have it. It auto selects the profile and I can show you how to do that as well. Um, it also starts up with the device. I also have the mapper starts up with the device. So hit X to activate. And now I'm moving around. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to play that game. Ugh. Even though it's the one with, that uses the triggers the most, um, I think. Um, okay, oh, Dead Island. We'll use Dead Island as a uh, kind of thing here. I mean, Dead Island's already on um, grid, but, you know, I'm not. This is just to show you the triggers work. Hopefully they work properly. I don't know if it's a thing with OnLive or if it was just that game, Homefront. But it just was, every time I, I had to slam the trigger down to get it to fire, and it would burst fire and do weird stuff. So, But it did detect them. It just worked funny. Then again, I was using it also in, in uh, console mode, and I had the uh, an NVIDIA shield across the room, so maybe that had to do something to do with it, but it seemed to work fine with the triggers and everything else, so I don't think that's the case. We have 
Dead Island, and uh, continue. Um, yep. So here we go. Here we go. I'll show you the triggers actually working. Hopefully. Hopefully they work properly. Yep, there we go. Got the back triggers are working. So, yeah. There's that. So, let's see about... Uh, let's see about using this. Let's see if I can kill some people. Some of those zombies. Oh, there's one. There he is. To kill this guy. Yeah, the triggers are actually working fine with this game. Okay. Kick his dead body, but yeah, that shows you. You know, the triggers are working. Oh, you can throw the knife? I didn't even know that. <laughs> but yeah. Game's actually working fairly well. But yeah, it is. This game this gamepad doesn't normally work with on live, so. That's that. That's Cloud Lift, by the way. Uh, I said I was gonna show something else, right? Um a little bit of an issue, uh Something can't for some reason sometimes the home button doesn't seem to work on the uh, actually I can actually use the home button up here uh, the uh, Tinkor key mapper actually allows an overlay with like home back and whatever buttons um, and I'll show you some stuff in, in here I'll show you uh, let's see so in here you can go to I think it's profile you see auto profile there's auto profile download if you don't know how to make or don't feel like making a profile for a game. Mostly it's touch profiles. It will actually search for a profile and auto download it and it will apply it on boot so you don't have to worry about anything. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, and there's oh, uh, operation. You go for operation. There is. Uh, you can start on boot. You know, auto start on boot. You can auto hide it so that it'll just run in the background and you don't have to look at it or end it or whatever. So, you know, those those features could help along with this. And, yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff in this mapper, too. There's, like, you can, uh, instead, if you know the, the uh, rotation app, the ultimate rotation control, you can actually use this to rotate the, the screen instead of having a separate app for that, so... This will actually do that. So, yeah. You exit out of there. And yeah, so there it goes. Um, yeah, so I think that's that's really it. Um, so to help this overpriced controller actually read games, you can actually re have it read as an NVIDIA shield. And uh, if you select auto profile, you know, that helps because you, you only have to, it only applies the profiles to the ones where you need help with that app or something. And then, yeah, I'm going to shut up because I'm having trouble making sense.